Hi, everyone. Welcome to Beacons of Balance. Um, I'm starting out today with a little announcement. As you notice, there's another person on the screen here who I will be introducing. <laughs> I just want to explain that um, Linda, Grindel Linda, wonderful Linda, who I started out Beacons of Balance, is busy with her book. And Linda was committed with so many other areas in her life, what's going on in her other show. And for right now, Linda has stepped aside. She will come on at different times as a guest with, with other speakers and that also. So love to you, Linda. Your book is out there. It's doing great. And thank you. Thank you for everything. You're still part of this, even though you're not physically here. So everybody, I'm so excited about this. I want to introduce, and she's a friend of mine. She's my angel sister. Another angel sister is Joanne Macko. She likes to be called Joanne, but I call her Joanne. <laughs> you can call me anything you want. Just don't call me Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I won't call you Joe. So okay. uh, going back, Beacons of Balance, we're here. I started, this was my kind of germation of a, a thought that came to me as far as doing it. And it's all about being in balance. We live in this crazy, chaotic world. But, uh, you know, I realized this this little blue marble we call Earth is a, a planet of duality, up, down, black, white, left, right. It's always going to be that way. That's what this, this YouTube podcast is all about. We're going to share different pearls different topics, different things we talk about, different guest speakers we bring on, as far as helping each and every one of us. This isn't just for you, it's for us also. We need to hear it and remind ourselves, right, Joanne? Yes, it's, this is not about me and Arlene. It's like we are here to help you balance your life, to you find more joy, more fun. And as we always said, Arlene, it's all about putting the love into whatever it is you do. Everything has to stem from for sure. you. I'm, I am super pumped, super pumped. And the light and seeing the light in each other. That's where we expand. Well, and that's where we we, we grow right. from. So let's yes. begin. <laughs> oh, my God. Where do we how start? Did we, how do we begin, Joanne? Do you realize, Arlene, I was looking at a calendar the other day. We have known each other 35 years. That really? is like I thought it was, seen. I was wrong. I thought it was 33. I was going to say, oh, it's the Christ number. And it, well, it could be 30. Because I, I don't exactly know that the year that show was that we met. And it could be 33. That would be very cool if it was. But um, thank it could God. be thir Anyways, between there, who knows? We're sisters from another mother, for sure. We just knew instantly when we met that it was just kismet. You know, you're a kindred spirit. And I am beyond blessed to have met you. And thank you for the vision for this amazing podcast. But I am, oh my God, I'm so excited. The, what we can do is limitless. Yes limitless so wow get excited people because we've got a lot to share with you and like i said it's all about your growth it's about you so. and it's never too late exactly we're I like know people that open up on their spiritual no. in their 80s but we're so. not sitting back in a rocking chair <laughs> oh my god no we are not the time hell no hell no no, no we're going to be going until until we, until until whatever, yeah. Until whatever, we have yeah. a lot a lot to do. Everybody has a lot to do, and exactly. um, but the main thing is we're having fun at it, you know. Yes. And we know how to laugh. I'll tell you, oh, if I'm ever done, I call Arlene. We laugh till we cry, and Arlene calls me when she needs lifting up. So it's a perfect. There's that balance. This, this is all about balance. Beacons of balance, and that's what we do best, <laughs> right? We show people how to balance their lives. <laughs> So I'm always in awe of her and we met because of her artistic ability. <laughs> At one point in my life, I was doing it this time glass engraving and I really like create, I like creating, I like using my hands, <laughs> although I can't draw a straight line. But in any event, I said, well, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I have to get into a show and, you know, and they said there were jury shows, which I didn't even know what that meant. And at the time, Joanne, who lived in a couple of towns over from me, she ran a lot of these art shows because she's a, she's an awesome, incredible artist. I'm always in awe of her capacity of what she does and her abilities. It just blows me away. And she does it like on a dime. It's like, oh my God, I keep, it takes me forever to just draw a line. So in any event, I got a hold, I did this, I got a hold of Joanne and it, it was a Christmas show that was coming up in her town. <laughs> And I introduced myself and she's like, yes. And she was very nice. Yes. 
I said, oh, I really want to get my things. And she goes, well, we're kind of booked. But she said, why don't you just come over and show me your your things that you do? And at the time, Joanne was painting because we were in New England. At the time, she was living in Connecticut also. Now she's in Illinois. She did Town Greens, correct? Right. And, Historic what? landmark, 1700, 17, 1800 period, 18. the people were. And because New England has town greens, you know, we have the little gazebos in the center and the churches and all that. And then she had the little people, you know, that, that was what she was doing. So anyway, so she was running and she was in charge of running the, the show. So I went over to her house with my little box, and my bag. <laughs> and she said, and I walk in, and I see this beautiful mural over her, her fireplace of this town. Oh my God, it was mass. It was just incredible. And I'm going... I'm thinking to myself, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. <laughs> and I, I had no idea what you were. I like. interrupt gingerly. I interrupt these little glass <laughs> items. <laughs> oh, so kind. She's so kind. Such a wonderful heart. She's looking at Piscean energy. Well, she's looking at me and I'm like, oh, and I'm really trying to sell myself. You know, yeah, well, right. kindly, she said, okay. She saw you kept a table. <laughs> Something told me. I mean, do you realize I was turning people away from the Smithsonian Institute at that point? No, we I didn't know. That. We I... had grown that show so much, Arlene. <laughs> show means you've got to present your work in front of a panel of judges. And it's like we wanted top notch. That's what I wanted to bring to Connecticut. That was going to be my legacy. And we had gotten to that point because I did that for what, 15 years? And here is Arlene with us. Cardboard box, a little, I don't know, what, where were the glasses? Like drinking I glasses? I had vases. I had all different things. And it's like, I don't know what it was, but I didn't, I, I'm, there must have been the energy in that day. I can't explain it. But I said, okay, I just can't turn this girl away. It was our, it was our angels. I, I'm telling you, this is a perfect example, everybody, of when you're supposed to be with a certain person in your life, it just, they make it happen, right? Yeah. That's what happened. I says, okay, come on in. You're in. And then what in my do? table, you put me right across her. And I sold. I actually did sell that day. Yeah. Yeah. And I then, sold. I remember you You try to contact me during the show. It was so busy because people were like, they come in from all over the U.S. for that show. And, you and said, then we met each other after that. A mouse, a mouse in, the, in the ceiling above me. <laughs> like I could do something. <laughs> off of it. It's just from the get-go, Arlene, we were like, I'm like, it's like, yeah. And then we met at another at another show and her son, Bob. Oh, my God. I wish I had a picture of him. He looked like a little um, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Most he had his little wire glasses and his yeah. little short haircut. Yeah. God, how old was he? Nine years old then? Ten? I don't know. He was little. And he, he was, was helping his mom. He was helping Julian with, with the show. And I was at a right. different section. And I was into my angel. I had angel books then a lot. I was reading whatever was out there. And he came well, over. He goes, excuse me, my mom wants to know what you're reading. And could she see that book? <laughs> I go, sure. And that was it. That was history. That was it. And then that's we, how we connected. Then we went off from there. And then down the road, Arlene opened this most amazing, amazing angel shop. And that was on, that was in Milford Green, right? Yes. Was it Daniel Street? I guess Daniel, was. yeah. Yep. And I'm telling you, Everybody, this shop was the bomb. It's like, this is a spiritual place that the energy and love you put into that, Arlene, it attracted people from all over. But it wasn't just selling gifts. You know, it, it wasn't was, about the gifts. It was never about the gifts. But I'm just saying, the gifts were amazing there because you and I used to go on all kind of road trips, to buying trips in downtown <laughs> New York. But Arlene, <laughs> the where to, the beautiful open heart to make sure it was a safe place that people could come in there and talk about deceased loved ones, angels, anything that could open them up, you know, from the heart space. It was a safe space. And that's why I always, oh my God, I just, I love you for that because it's, you have no idea how many people that you touched, Darlene. Well, I'm sure you do, but there's more. Oh. I'm, I'm, they're showing me there's a lot more than you realize that you yeah. touched. They gave me, you know, at the time, yeah, you know, I started Angel for people who don't know, angel riding, automatic riding. We started that. I started with Trudy Griswold. Right. Um, my very first message was the key to all the treasures in the world is love. It's love. It's all always the key to unlock all the mysteries is love. And that never left me. So right. when I was riding, when I was the 
you know, it came to me to open up the, the store. They said, people will come through your doors. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who or what. They will leave. I'm going to cry. They said they will leave here totally different because their hearts will be touched. And they did. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. But you I, I was just a sacred taker. space, Art. You held that sacred space. I held the space, but it was, yeah, it was a business, but really what it was, that was the greater good of what it was. Exactly. Exactly. And miracles and things happen. You know, I had a lot of notoriety, newspaper articles, as you do with your artwork and everything. Mm -hmm. I was so naive. I never did a business before. I thought, oh, well, this happens. No, it didn't. I was in a book, right. you know, with, with celebrities. It was 50 women, you know. With Susan Sarandon, wasn't with it? Susan Sarandon, I was in stage in New York. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, naive. I didn't know. <laughs> Do you know what? That's the best way because the angels always said if ego ever got in the way of this, yes. everything would be taken from you. It was all work. It was all you know work. Talking about. There's, there's no room for ego in this work. No, right? no. And we have to have fun. We always said, if we're not having fun or we're not doing it, didn't we always say that? Yeah. So we went on from there and, and Joanne's, <laughs> Joanne has incredible work and, and how her angel, I still have the sketch she sent me a picture of what happened on her wall in her living room. The light came in and do you remember it? It was like a line, you had several a light angels. outline of an angel. Yeah, I had several angel visits. And the messages were... That story again, how you were had the order from the shop in Milford. They... Right. And um, it led me to speak at the United Nations. And if it wasn't for you, Arlene, I would have never... That would have never happened because I literally turned down the invite to have a photo shoot with Madeline Albright and to present my art down there in... I, I told her, Arlene, I said, you know what? I just told him I can't make it. <laughs> you went ballistic. Like, what are you talking about? And thank God for you. It's like, you, uh, you know, that's why I love you so much. It's like, oh, I know. Mutual admiration society. But anyway, that, that, that sketch, that was the very first encounter. Well, not, I mean, we've had all through our lives, of course, but yep. that was the first where you got a solid mes message and they told you to drop what you were doing. Remember, exactly. you, you had that order for like 200 yes. pieces for a shop. Right. Uh -huh. And they told me specific things would happen in a very specific order if I just listened to the messages. But, you know, us human beings, we're so busy running here, there, everywhere, and we don't take the time to be still. And when they told me I'd be speaking in front of many nations, I'm like, oh, yeah, right. And fast forward, I'm standing at the United Nations. And like I said, you know, I... I'll never forget that day you and I were trying to carry an eight foot, eight foot high painting in, in the city to get into the United Nations building. I mean, we can't make this up, Arlene, right? It's like. Uh, yeah, that was pretty big. I mean, well, the whole thing was big for you being there, but that piece was a big, that, that was, was a big piece. <laughs> you know, I still like, I look at this thing every day. I'm like, how in God's name were two women able to carry an eight foot high painting by four feet wide? down these busy streets, let alone nobody. Manhattan, in Manhattan. Remember, nobody would let us park? Yeah. Oh, my God. Not that it was heavy. It was just awkward. And then, it, you know, with the canvas, it was like we were walking down. We were like um, Stanley, Laurel, and Hardy. You had <laughs> one, and then I had the other. And then the wind came, and it could have billowed up and took us off like in a no, we have <laughs> balloon. <laughs> Girl, we have stories. We have stories. Um, and, and they're one's funnier than the next. Exactly. Yeah, so, I, so, so going back to, I mean, Joanne's always there for me. I'm, I'm here for her. You know, we're, see, we're blessed. We're blessed to have yeah. each other. There's so many people out there that are lonely and don't have anyone, and we all have to reach out. The, you know, the saying goes, to have a friend, you have to be a friend. Exactly. And sometimes it's getting out of your comfort zone or whatever. But right. when, you know, when this idea for Beacons of Balance came along, yeah. And of course, when you start something, you know, people that don't know, but when you start anything and, and then you're coming up, okay, what's the name going to be? And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I couldn't sleep all night. And then all of a I don't know, it just came to me. I saw this thing, like I said, with see your darkness on your light and it's choices. And that's the duality. And it just came a lighthouse beacons. And I saw it. See, I see creatively, visually, but then to transpose it the other way. And I saw the justice scale. And I, I said, oh, my God. I called Joanne and I said, Joanne, I hate to do Because she's so busy. I mean, she, has, she also does healing work. She has clients. Her artwork 
she's right. She has books out. She has a ch child's, um, well, it's not even for children's for everyone, really. Um, your, your latest one that you're working on. And she's very busy. But I called her as a friend and I said, I hate to do this. She just do, and I know you're so great and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's just, so Joanne says to me, all right. Okay. She goes, okay. She goes, okay. Okay. She goes, send me a sketch. I go, oh Jesus. You might, I mean, this is like trying to say, this and is I trying to send to Picasso a piece of something. That's how I feel about her. I feel Picasso. You know, I'm like, oh no, no. So I, so I took out a ruler. So she goes, just send me down the idea. I have to, because I have it. Now look at this. Oh, have you kept that? Oh my God, that's too funny. Or look at this. There you go. This is what I sent her. Paper. Okay. Yeah. Paper I'm like, oh my God. Now look at what came out of that. Okay. Absolutely gorgeous. Bob. And by the way, Joanne, there's new. These are new business cards. There you are. These are gorgeous, are and you love are. Them. I love them. So anybody, you could scan the what do they call this? The uh, QR code. QR code. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Thank God for Victor. Hey people, we are so not techies. We're talkers. We are not. Thank techies. God, Victor. Victor. Thank God, Victor, our producer. You are. We love amazing. you, Victor. Oh my God, he's the best producer. And that's what was she created from that? From that. And that was like overnight. And then our opening with the, oh, you know, Victor did that. I mean, it's, oh. Uh, so let's tell the people what some of our, some of our brainiac ideas, what we see like for this, this beautiful podcast. What would you we're, like to see? We're from just going to keep growing. I mean, I do just to let everyone know the first Wednesday of the month, and this was guidance that came to the angels from me. Well, we need, desperately need peace. Oh yeah. my God. We world in our heart for us for our family for everyone the whole entire globe the whole because it's how the universe is out there which is not us we it's all of us collectively right so they said i used to when i had the shop i used to do a weekly healing meditation uh for the world and that so i do that every wednesday that'll be the first wednesday of the month and then after that we have each wednesday we'll have shows you know the yep. episodes It'll be on YouTube and podcasts. They run half an hour to 40 minutes, sometimes maybe 45, depending, because we know everybody's tied up and busy, you know, don't want to tie up everything. But there's some great guest speakers. Actually, Joanne, if she looks familiar, she was on, I believe it was the March episodes on the near-death experience. So she was on the last it was one. around the end of March, I the believe. The end of March, she was on. So if you want to catch that, go back, because everything's archived on the website. And things will just keep, you know, we're in the beginning stage, so things will be growing. So they'll be, so, you know, subscribe to it. Please subscribe. And, and like it. Tell your friends, like, share it. Like it, comment. And let us know your ideas because we're open. We want to know what you want because this is just for you. Okay. So we're open to all kinds. But we've got some amazing guests that I, yeah, we've got some great lineups. So it's going to be fun it's going to be fun we and have a lot of ideas percolating against we're just going to keep going with it exactly it evolves and we're you know we're open we're not like set in stone like well it has to be this way or else it's not gonna you know we're so laid back you have to be malleable through this exactly we're very yeah. laid back but no there's there's so much we can do we could be doing readings and and oh, oh my gosh sketching your guides you know last minute and no there's we've got a lot up here that's our light bulbs are always working, right? And Victor is so creative. Thank God for Victor. We are we are very blessed to have him on board. And he works behind the curtain, so we'll yeah. bring him out from behind that thank curtain. God, Victor, you are going to be on this show. Trust us. You cannot stay behind the curtain. You're too good. His energy, his energy is here. Your energy is beautiful, and you're an amazing speaker and a musician. I just heard. Wow, musician and wonderful voice, creative to the nth degree. Yes. So we're blo we're blessed. He's got to meet Bob. Oh, anyways, meet. So anyways, we're gonna have a fabulous audience. So there you go. That's what it's all about, right? Exactly. So thank God for this. Thank you again, Arlene, for having the vision. To oh do please. Hey, thank you. Has to start, everything has to start with a vision, hon. I thank my angels. You know, and I was at a point in my life, you know, getting older and just you know kicking back, thinking, oh well, is this it? And no, we have, 
You know, I knew there yeah. was something. Did you see the two of us retired? No way. I knew there was something, but, you know, people still, you know, my shop's going to be closed over 20. It's going to be 20 years December that oh, closed. Yeah. I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe it. If people still come yeah. up and they still remember and they'll say to me, are you going to open up again? Are you going to do something? We miss you. We miss this. We miss, miss, miss. And yeah. I'm like, oh, I miss it too. I get the same with, you know, not doing light workers. I did that for 25 years and. But I, I couldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, could I possibly? Sure, we could do anything. Sure. Will I choose to? No, I don't have, no. Right. Choose and to? a lot of things changed no. after COVID or, you know, that. Yeah. You so know, this is the way. This way we could reach more people. Yes. You know, on a greater scale and still have fun, you know? So. No, so I'm ask all of you out there, the ones that are watching, listening, just to yeah. share it, um, to help us help exactly. us if you want to help help us grow we so. want this to be the best podcast in the entire planet yeah. and it can't yeah yeah and we need it it's so needed right now look at the shape this world is in right now and because we're all connected consciously we're picking up on that imbalance and that's why this program is so important to bring that balance back right Ar? you know it's the funniest thing and it's kind of like when you have something and you create and you think about it, I don't know, it was just the circumstance, whatever. Everything I, and I, you know, of course you have something, then you start questioning, am I crazy? Should I be doing this? Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I don't know what am I doing, blah, blah, blah. It goes your chatter. But then well, I would turn on the TV or read something and here's actors and different people talking about balance in their life. I kept hearing balance, balance, balance. I kept seeing lighthouses. I'm like, holy crow. Right. And we know spirituality has grown just from geez, I've been here for 26 years from Connecticut. My gosh, when I first moved here at the local bookstore, it was walls and walls of just dark stuff, witchcraft, spells. And now it's all angels and spirituality. And there's no, it's books. true. Yeah, it's true. Because when I so opened the, the shop, something that, happened. yeah, that was 94. Right. I could, I got maybe three or four angel books. That's all they had out there. There was right. no and now you go to any bookstore and now it's like loaded all sections of spirituality and angels so pretty cool well we are opening up and they're open we need it mm -hmm. and we need you this is all about you you <laughs> matter we need you people out here you're important so you're needed yes Bye. so thanks for being here with us continue thank you let and us know we're gonna have fun we are just gonna have you know have it's you know we're gonna have fun early. Oh yeah. Also gonna spread. Hey, when I met when I met Fred, my now current husband, I <laughs> we met on a dating site. <laughs> we met the first time and I said to him, he's sitting across from me, I said, My middle name is F U and his eyes went <laughs> I go, It's F U N. And if you're not oh. F U N, I don't wanna know you. Goodbye. <laughs> he's a sweetheart. Oh my god, you married a prince. That boy's a prince. I love him. We're, we're both blessed with our men. You are. All right. Well, you want to wrap this up? Thank you. Yes, we will wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. One way or another. <laughs> so what would you, what would you like to end with? I'm just grateful beyond measure for this amazing podcast that you created. And just stay tuned because let me tell you guys, each one is going to get better and better. I just feel it in my heart. So, oh, always, that's good to hear. Yeah, no. stay in love and come from love, whatever you do, whatever that is. I don't care if you make harmonicas for a living. If you put the love into it, that love goes out to other people. So we're here to remind you that you are more powerful than you even realize. So stay tuned because lots more to come. Remember to be the beacons of light and love that you are. You exactly. have it right here. For people that are listening, I'm pointing to my heart. You have it yes. right here. Get out of this. Get out of your brain. Yes. Drop into this. It's all about from here. Spread it out. When you go out, when you're interacting with anybody, just see like you have a light here, like a light. It doesn't matter, like a flashlight just beaming out to connect with theirs. And you'll see a shift happen. It's pretty amazing. You could watch someone in their eyes. So always in total love. Uh, in peace um i always wish peace because if you have peace you have it all because <laughs> you're not concerned or worried about anything else and right. so until the next time in balance and love we love you keep Namaste. shining 
Love you guys. Bye. Bye.